Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, it's me Jedimars98 back again with another Star Wars figure review. In today's Star Wars figure review we're going to be taking a look now at another character from Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. And we're going to be taking a look at one of the main characters and it's this one. It is Han Solo from Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Now this is Han's appearance in The Empire Strikes Back when he travels to Hoth and Bespin and obviously in the uh, cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. It's a really really nice design of Han. Obviously it's a older figure that's been uh, released as part of the vintage collection. They did release this I believe before in the first uh, line of the vintage collection. Obviously this one does include uh, more accessories as well which is very very cool. And um, I do have a version of this uh, figure in my collection, but it's uh, part of the uh, 5 POA, and I thought it's right about the right time to uh, get an updated version of Han. But we'll take a look at him and accessories in a couple of moments, but first we'll take a look at the packaging that comes with this character. As you see, this is the packaging that stores Han Solo. You've got the Empire Strikes Back logo at the top, followed by Han's name, the price I paid for the figure, the plastic bubble that protects the figure, the Kenner logo and a nice image of Harrison Ford in action. Turn it round, like with all the other figures, you've got the other figures in the uh, wave that you can pick up and obviously all legal stuff at the bottom as well in multiple languages. But yeah, stunning bit of artwork there. A nice packaging to store your figure. So yeah, that's the uh, packaging for Han Solo. Let's take a look at this figure in more detail. Now this is a really, really cool figure that Hasbro have recently released. As I said, the accessories are really good with this figure. Um, in my last review, I gave a look at C-3PO and I state that the accessories uh, wasn't in that uh, figure. They could have included more, but Hasbro have included a couple here. We'll start off with uh, one of them. You've got his... Uh, DL44 blaster pistol there, which is very very nicely sculpted, sculpted in a silver and black plastic. In the left hand you've got a fusion cutter that we see him use, uh, I think briefly, in the uh, Hoff base when he's trying to get the uh, Falcon to repair. And he also does come with a set of goggles as well, so obviously to protect his eyes from all the sparks and stuff that's happening when he's repairing, and obviously you can just Place that on his head like so, and you can get Han looking quite cool in his goggles. I'll just give you a zoom in just to show the overall detail. As you see, the goggles are there, nicely sculpted, mine are a bit uneven. There you go. So, I've seen the left hand you've got the fusion cutter, the right hand, the DL44 blaster pistol and his goggles in the middle, which are very, very cool. And also you can just press the back, like so, take the goggles off, place that down, and also you can see the photo reel that they've used to get a good shot of Harrison Ford, the actor who portrays Han in the original trilogy. And nicely sculpted as well. So yeah, that's the accessories. We're going to the articulation now. As you see Han, he does come with a swivel head that can move up and down and side to side like so. There's movement in the shoulders, movements in the elbows and in the wrists. Torso is good, get a bit of movement there. Movement in the legs and the knees and the ankles like so. The right leg does move quite well despite this obviously sculpted holster there and everything. And obviously you can remove the blaster pistol and have that stored away. And obviously you can just have Han with the fusion cutter in his hand. You can obviously just take the blaster pistol and have it in his hand. Or you can even take the fusion cutter out and just have Han where to go. Obviously the different poses and everything which is very very cool. Uh, also this figure, a nicely sculpted blue jacket that I've uh, sculpted there, obviously the white shirt underneath and obviously the brown trousers with the little yellow markings and the black boots. As I said I'll give you another zoom in 
as well, just to show the uh, overall look to Han Solo. As you see, the photo real technology has captured Harrison Ford really well, as I stated earlier on. Nicely sculpted jacket with all the creases and everything, all the little pockets. Same with the belt, sculpted well with a holster. And obviously, you just go down, you've got the sculpted boots and everything, which is very, very cool. But yeah, that photo reel is very, very cool. But you can get Han looking so cool. And apart from that, as I said, it was a time to get an updated version of this guy. And what part, and what a better way to get it as part of the vintage collection. So that's the vintage collection Han Solo from Bespin from Star Wars Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back. I hope you've enjoyed this review and I'll be back with many more Star Wars reviews very soon. The next few reviews we'll be taking a look at some older figures from Episode 2 and Episode 3 and then hopefully in a few videos time we'll be doing a collection update as I stated. Um, be sure to also to subscribe to the channel be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram and as always, take care, look after yourself and may the force be with you.